So, turned out that this tube is faulty. Even though it is looking pretty well, I can't see any signs of heavily use. But the static emission test results are very bad. So this tube clearly is faulty. The question is what to do with the faulty tube. Shall I put it on eBay, untest it, I can't verify if it's working or not, and try to make some money? This is something that many people do, by the way. This is not what I do, and this is something that nobody should do. I'm very often purchasing tubes on eBay untested and they turn out to be a complete mess. So you may think I'm crazy, but I think this is the only reasonable solution. So, yeah, I'm sorry, I have destroyed the tube, but I think it was the right decision. If I don't destroy it, someone else may get their hands on this tube and do dirty things like uh, fraudulent sell on eBay, untested, and this would harm me as a tube seller and audio enthusiasts all around the globe. What would you have done? Please leave it in the comments. I'm very curious of what you think. I know someone will complain now. Why did you destroy it? You can have used it as a display. Uh, oh no. Well, you can use any tube as a display and they are all looking great. I just want to sort out the, the faulty tubes so nobody can do dirty things with them. So I hope you liked the video. See you soon. Big thumbs up. Bye bye. So this is the reason why this power supply is faulty. Das sein im Diesseits bedeutet keinen Dissens zur Materialität des Dinglichen.